What's up, gentlemen? So they say that the best defense is actually a great offense. And so today we're going on the offensive because I've teamed up with Simply Safe to help you defend yourself like a gentleman. Now, when I talk about defending yourself, it's more than just having like super sick ninja skills to fend off like attackers, right? It's more than just protecting yourself physically. There's a lot more to it, like protecting yourself in terms of your reputation, your finances, your family, your loved ones. And so today, guys, I'm gonna go over a few tips, a few strategies that I use in order to defend myself like a gentleman. The first tip to defend yourself like a gentleman is think before you speak or before you type. Think. Use your brain. You've got one. I know it's amazing because you subscribed to this channel and dropped me one of these. That tells me that you're a pretty sharp dude. So why are you doing and saying and typing some really stupid things? In the cancel culture in which we live, people are looking. They are craving. They are waiting to pounce on you if you say anything wrong, if you do anything that's a little bit out of whack, gentlemen, they are waiting, they are ready to destroy you. And so the best thing you can do to defend yourself, shut up, I know that you may have an opinion, I know that you may feel strongly about something, but it doesn't mean that you should voice it. Gentlemen, you've gotta exercise restraint. You gotta stop, you gotta think. You've gotta think about what are the ramifications of me actually saying, doing or posting this thing? And am I really that passionate about it that I'm willing to suffer the consequences if I get attacked? The second tip to defend yourself like a gentleman is stop assuming things. When we assume things, we get into trouble, right? This is one of the worst things we can do. We've gotta be proactive. We've gotta look at things through a critical lens. You can't assume that just because nothing bad has ever happened that nothing bad will ever happen. Gentlemen, it's about being prepared. Now what I'd like to do is actually go over a few tips that can prepare you to not be a victim. One of the most important things that you can do to not be a victim is always be aware of your environment or your surroundings. You've got to notice things. You've got to look at people. One of the issues with cell phones is that people nowadays are very distracted. They're looking at their phone. And so this makes you an easier target because the crook or the burglar or the mugger or the person that is looking to do you dirty sees that you're not paying attention. And so bang, you're focused here. They're focused on you, noticing that you're not paying attention when the reality is that you should be constantly looking at your environment, all right? Look people in the eye. Body language is another thing. Gentlemen, stand up straight. Walk with your head up. Looking people in the eye is one of the most important things that you can do. The truth is that bad people look for easy targets. They don't want to work super hard. They don't want to get into a fight or an altercation. So who are they going to mess with? They're going to mess with you who's looking them in the eye and sees them coming, right? Standing up nice and tall. Or are they going to mess with somebody that's not paying attention and doesn't see them? Exactly. That person. Another example. If a burglar is walking down your street, right? Your house and your neighbor's house. And he's got to decide. Whose house am I going to break into and like steal their cat, right? You've got a Simply Safe sign on the window and in the yard. Your neighbor does not. Whose house does he go in? Exactly, not yours. Simply Safe is literally changing the game in terms of home security system. The way that it works, guys, you hit our special link down below or you can order over the phone, right? And they send you your system and then you actually set up your system in your home yourself in less than an hour. Easy, guys. Simply Safe is easy and it is customizable. You order your system, they send it to you, and then you place the sensors in the various areas around your house. And then from there, your home is professionally monitored 24 seven. And if anything happens, the police are notified. Simply Safe is also free from contracts and hidden fees. And guys, they recently like upgraded their system. So now all the devices are smaller than they were before, not to mention like five times faster. Guys, let me actually now show you my Simply Safe security system. All right, guys, so this is my Simply Safe security system. I'm gonna unbox it and actually show you what it looks like and then set it up. This is the base station. Think of this as the brains of the operation. Plug it in and set it up. This is the keypad where you arm it, disarm it. There's also a panic button on the top and in terms of installation, just stick it to the wall. My system came with four entryway sensors. Basically the way that it works, you attach one side to the door jam, the other side to the door, and anytime that current is broken, you're going to get notified. I got two motion sensors. These are pretty awesome. They go in the corner and detect any motion. This is a glass break sensor. So if you're gone and somebody throws like a brick through your window, you're gonna know about it. Right there, the video doorbell. I also got a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector. I also got two key fobs and these are super cool, right? Because you can arm or deactivate 
from your keychain. You also, on that end, have that little red button. That's actually a panic button. Speaking of panic buttons, you also get a real panic button. So the way that it works, basically, you hold this for two seconds, and it's going to set off the alarm. I also got the Simply Cam, which is a video camera that can detect motion and record alarm events. Your camera is ready for setup. Follow the instructions in the SimpliSafe app to get started. I got some decals to put in my window to let people know, yo mama, this place is protected. Also, a badass yard sign. Alarm off. Please exit now. So you've got 60 seconds once you arm the alarm to get out of the house. Simply safe on. Please exit now. And then check it out, right? I open the app. It's my living room. <laughs> Now I can spy on my cats. Guys, Simply Safe is so badass, it is ridiculous. It's also actually a lot of fun to set up, and it's fun checking out the app and just monitoring everything. Guys, I'm telling you, hit that link down below and go check out Simply Safe. SimplySafe.com slash Alpha M and grab your system today. And once you set it up, guys, the thing that you're going to notice is that you feel better. It's peace of mind. Peace of mind knowing that your home is protected even when you're not there. And if anything happens, the monitoring center will let the police know so they can come and take care of business. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, hit the link down below, simplysafe.com slash alpha m to check it out and get started and get safer and defend yourself like a gentleman today. The next tip to defend yourself like a gentleman is all about your wallet and what you carry with you. One of the mistakes that I used to make is that I used to carry like all of my credit cards, all of my information, my social security card, like everything in my wallet every time I left the house. And when I started to think about that, what if I get mugged? What if I lose it? Then I'm totally effed. Instead, what I'd recommend is only carry like one or two like credit cards, your license, and some cash. The other upside to doing that is that your wallet can be nice and slim, and so it doesn't like get all like big and bulky in your pocket. Invest in a small, slim wallet. The other thing that you can find is certain wallets do have like protective like shields or barriers in them. They're wallets that actually have like RFID like protection built in them, but you can also get like just like a card. It looks like a credit card that you can actually slide in your wallet. The way that these cards and wallets work is pretty incredible. They actually put like a protective field in your wallet so that they can't be skimmed by somebody remotely. The next tip to defend yourself like a gentleman is don't get sloppy drunk, all right? And don't hang out with people that get sloppy drunk. What I have come to realize is that when I would drink more than I should, I made some really bad decisions. When you drink more than you should, um, your reflexes are slower. You also don't pay attention to things like you should. You also aren't aware of your surroundings the way that you would be if you had all of your senses. The other unfortunate reality about drinking and being around people that are drinking is that a lot of times emotions get a little more like amplified and fights break out. The only times I have ever almost been in like fights or gotten into like, like confrontations has been at bars, right? Or when there's drinking involved. Even if I'm not drunk, if other people are there, guys, it's a recipe for disaster. The other thing that you need to pay attention to is who you hang out with. If your friends are friends that are always getting into fights, if your friends are always like instigating or talking a lot of trash, guys, you gotta protect yourself. You've gotta defend yourself. And the way that you do that is not hang out with them. The next tip to defend yourself like a gentleman is don't drive like a jerk, all right? You hear the stories, right? A lot of people, road rage, they get all pissed off because somebody's driving like an idiot, right? Um, I have gotten super pissed off at people. I have been the recipient of people being super pissed off at me. Guys, drive responsibly, drive respectfully. Use your turn signal, don't cut people off, don't speed, don't tailgate, don't give anybody the middle finger if you're pissed off at them because you never know who's got a gun. Speaking of guns, let's talk real quick about firearms. Now, I am not saying that you should run out and get a gun, but that being said, personally, I feel better knowing that I've got the ability to defend myself. Um, and so, uh, for me, one of the things that I have as sort of a, a protection device is a pump action shotgun. I know that if anybody like is in my house or if anybody comes at me, I pump that bad boy, they hear it, they're out the door. It's about not being vulnerable. Um, I am not a huge gun person and I am not a huge gun advocate, but you've got to decide for yourself if having something in your home 
um, is important to you. And if it is, you've got to make sure that you know how to use it. Don't just buy it. You've got to learn how to use a gun. You've got to learn how to operate it. And so take lessons. Go to a gun range. Gentlemen, guns are not anything to play around with. They're not a toy. They are incredibly serious. And if you decide to invest in one and have one in your home, you've got to make sure it is safe. Don't like guns? Get a bat. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm actually not kidding. A baseball bat is an incredibly effective defense mechanism. Speaking of defense mechanism, the last thing I'd like to talk real quick about is self-defense in terms of like self-defense. As in you attack me, I can defend myself. Guys, I would highly recommend each and every one of you start to learn some basic self-defense moves, right? Even if it's just learning to like go for specific areas like the neck or the nose or give a head bump. They come after you, boom, you hit them in the neck, the eyes, the nose, the ears, like wherever, right? It's all about just sort of like disorienting them so that you can get away because that's honestly the best thing you can do. Don't stand there and try and fight, gentlemen. Get away, get away, get away. It's not being scared, it's about being smart. You do not want to engage people. You want to get away, get safe, gentlemen. It's all about being safe and that is how you defend yourself like a gentleman.